So we're gonna take this servo, which can only turn uh, about 180, yeah, about 180 degrees or so. Turn it into a continuous rotational servo. This is a high tech HS311. The difficulty and the issue is that you can find really, really high torque servos that turn only 180 or 270, but you can't find high torque continuous rotational servos uh, or just motors, right, where you can control the speed. Um, you can't find high torque, you know, versions that are in this casing as you would a normal servo. So there's a hack that's out there. Um, where you can make it a continuous rotational servo if you just get rid of the potentiometer. So first thing is to get rid of uh, the screws holding it in. Alright, so... Um, the backing falls out, as you can see here. Um, you don't really care about messing with this stuff. Uh, we can just put this aside for now. Uh, we don't want to lose any of these screws either, so we'll just put this away. The main part we care about is the front, so we can pull out the top of it. So these are the gears. So, so this is the main shaft that's driven by this motor here, right, that comes into here. Spins this, which spins the rest of them. And then here's our potentiometer. So this potentiometer, I don't know if you can see it, uh, right? So this potentiometer right here is the feedback mechanism in order to communicate with the chip on the back to say that we're uh, spinning one direction or the other direction. So we want this to stop um, spinning, essentially, so that it always thinks that um, it's never achieved the direction that it wants to get to, so then it continuously spins forever. So we want to set this to its middle point, which is just in the center, right? If you can kind of wobble it around, you can figure out that the center point is right there. Get the gear that matches with it, which is this one. Unscrew this bolt. So that's what's holding it in place right now. Uh, try not to lose any of these gears. Right, and then we can pull this out. And we see on here, that there's a bit of a, that there right there is a stopping block. So we need to grind that away pretty much. Um, and then grind this tip away so that these two don't mate anymore. So then this can spin freely and won't have the stopping block as well as it won't mate to this and it won't ever turn it. So those are the two things we need to finish. Once you get that, we'll be good. So we can put this on here, sprints freely, and no change to that. So now the last step is to blow away all the chunks that might be left. So I'm just going to wire this up like normally, uh, I'm going to use yellow for power, uh, white for signal, um, and then green for ground um, as my pins. And so that's power ground and then I'm just using the default pin 9 in the default sweep code. Uh, so if I upload, I would exit, as you can hear, there's like a lot of noise because I got some plastic particles stuck in there. 
but it's a 360 rotational servo. So this is full speed backwards. Uh, if I do 90, that should be stopped. It's a slower speed. So that's 100, it's super slow. Uh, spinning 180, okay, so that means that the potentiometer wasn't fully aligned in the middle when we in closed it, but that's okay. So one and one is the opposite direction. So if there's a load on here, it just won't move. But because it's not loaded, it's spinning extremely slowly. But now we have extremely fine control of the speed at which we send it. 